Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tanui and this is Uyang Beauty. In this video, I thought that we would talk about my favorite eyeshadow palettes that I like to pull out during the fall season. During this time of year, I tend to gravitate towards the more toastier and bronzy tones, but I also like cooler tones like deep mauves and burgundies. I'm also going to be doing a video talking about my favorite blushes and face palettes that I like to use this time of year, so be looking out for that. But let's go ahead and talk about our eyeshadow palettes. These first three are from ColourPop. Now, I did order the newest Hocus Pocus collection, but after that, I think I am kind of taking a mental break from ColourPop for a little while. They have launched so much stuff so quickly, I just, I can't keep up. They launched the new Hocus Pocus collection and immediately like a week later, they launched a new collection and it looks like everything else that they've launched. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking kind of a mental break from ColourPop because I just cannot keep up. But these three palettes, hold on. These three palettes are from ColourPop and these three are some of my favorites to use for this time of year. This one is the Wild Child palette. This one has kind of that giraffe design on the cover. This was during that time where we were like begging ColourPop to please launch color stories that are more inclusive and work for deeper skin tones. And this is one of the palettes they launched. And this one is absolutely beautiful. The deep rich chestnut browns, the bronzy shimmers in this palette. Everything about it is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful in deeper skin tones. It's beautiful this time of year. It's one of my favorite fall palettes to pull out. I just love it. This one is the Star Wars Mandalorian. This is the child palette. I love the color story in this one. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I love the Mandalorian in a child, and I got it for that reason, but mainly I got it for the color story. This could have been just a regular palette, and I still would have gotten it. The warm browns in here, these beautiful warmer tone greens are beautiful for this time of year. You can even put together a nice little spooky look using this palette. I absolutely love it. This last palette from ColourPop is the Lust for Dusk palette. This one came out a couple of months ago. This is one of my favorite ColourPop palettes in my entire collection. I love the color story. I love the tones. I love the textures in here. You can put together looks for any season of the year. Summer looks, spring looks. I love, you know, this little quadrant right here for fall. You have these beautiful cool tones that are just going to be absolutely stunning when the weather starts to get a little bit more Cool. But this is one of my favorite color stories for this time of year. This next one is from Juvia's Place. It is the Nomad by Juvia's. This is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection. I absolutely love it because of this beautiful grungy color story. You have these beautiful mustardy yellows. You have these beautiful grungy greens in here. You can put together beautiful fall inspired palettes. You can put together spooky inspired palettes. Like I said, this is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection and I think it's absolutely perfect for this time of year. This next palette is from Zoeva. It is the Spice of Life palette. I picked this up during one of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sales. One of the days all the brands were owned by women and I just found this palette to be very inspiring. I love the packaging. The color story is absolutely perfect for this time of year. You have these beautiful spicy cinnamon tones in here. These beautiful browns, these coppers. This entire color story I find very inspiring. The tones and the textures are absolutely beautiful. I will definitely be pulling this palette out a lot over the next couple of months. This next palette is from Kimchi Beauty. It is the Kimchi Chic X Naomi Smalls Two Queens in One Desert palette. This one is vegan friendly. Kimchi is one of my absolute favorite drag queens of life. I think she is fabulous. She is beautiful. She is everything. I absolutely adore her. And when I saw this palette, I had to grab it. As you can see, this palette has beautiful warm and cool tones in here. You can put together summer looks with this palette. This quadrant right here, or this little area right up in here, is what really, really inspires me as far as the fall season. And then you have like these cooler shades that you can pull out when the weather starts to get really icy. Like you can put together a really cool Elsa look using just these two shades right here. But I love Kimchi's formula. I think it's very smooth. I think it's very blendable. These shimmers are very shiny and wet looking. This is one of my favorite palettes. I absolutely love it for this time of year. I would definitely be pulling it out. This next palette is also from Juvia's Place. This is the Nubian 3. This is the Coral palette. This palette has some beautiful smoky tones in here that I think are beautiful for this time of year, especially in this row. You can also put together some nice cool tone grungy looks with this steel gray and the silvery gray shimmers on the top. I think this is the very first palette that I ever bought 
from Juvia's Place. I love their formulas. Juvia's Place is also a black owned brand. So, you know, I find that exciting about the brand as well. But I feel like this palette, this color story is absolutely beautiful for this time of year. This next palette is from Tati Beauty. It is the Texture Neutrals. I was hoping that she was going to launch something else, but I know that she's currently in that lawsuit, you know, where her brand is concerned. So I don't know if and when another palette will ever happen, but I absolutely love the color story and the concept and, and everything of this palette. Now, I would say her formula is not my absolute favorite. It does take a little bit of work sometimes to get the shades, you know, to really blend out the way that you want. But I love the color story. I love the layout. This column right here especially is what I'm looking at for this time of year. This beautiful spicy, you know, cinnamon, pumpkin-y, smoky kind of shades here. Also, this particular column and then this one right here you can pull out to make spooky, glittery looks for, you know, the um, Halloween season as well. And you got these cool tones that I also like. Hopefully she'll, you know, launch something else in the future. We'll just have to see. This last palette is, I think of all the palettes in here, this one is the newest one to my collection and it is the Double X Revolution Kombucha Palette. Usually I don't go for palettes that are this big, but there was just something about this palette that just really spoke to me. I love the beautiful orange tones in this palette. This palette right here screams fall to me. This shade right here, it is the most beautiful perfect pumpkin orange and on my skin tone it is so warm I just oh, I absolutely love it this is the perfect orange as far as blush in my opinion now you know they could have curated this a little bit more some of the shades in here are kind of similar to each other but this palette brings me joy. I can make beautiful warm tone looks for the fall. I can pull this out for the summer. I can pull out some, you know, nice cool toned icy looks for, you know, when the weather starts to get a little bit cooler and we start getting into the winter months. This has become one of my absolute favorite palettes in my entire collection and I will definitely be pulling this palette out a lot in the coming months. So those are my favorite palettes for the fall autumn season. Let me know guys down in the comments what you thought. Do you own any of these palettes or any of these palettes your favorites to pull out this time of year? Let me know what other eyeshadow palettes that you like to use whenever the weather starts to get cool and crisp. If you are not already subscribed and you're considering it, you've been here for a little while, you're kind of thinking about it, I would love it if you would consider joining the family and hitting subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified of any videos that may be coming up in the future, just be sure to type the notification bell down below so you get the notifications. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm trying to post on both daily and so far, I'm doing a pretty good job of it. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.